Like many in Brazil, the tight-knit Cunha family have been ravaged by COVID-19 as the virus outpaces the country's stuttering vaccination drive. The family's matriarch was known as Donna Anna. The 85-year-old was given the Chinese-developed Coronavac, the dominant vaccine in Brazil. She appears to have been exposed to the virus just a few days after her first shot, likely leaving her with minimal protection. Numerous other family members looking after her also fell critically ill. In Brazil, families often step in where the state does not, caring for one another because of gaps in the health system. One of her sons carried her to the car to receive hospital treatment. Three days later, he too was hospitalised. They both died within weeks. Mas o mais que nós tivemos cuidado é proteger nossa mãe e, e meus irmãos mais é, mais velhos assim, que estavam tomando conta dela é, ficavam sempre em casa a gente evitava o máximo de, de visitar de sair e mesmo assim foi atingido com a uma, uma uma frequência muito pesada né e pegou meus meus três irmãos mais velhos minha mãe e foi onde, pelo fato da idade, não sei, não teve, não suportado, infelizmente. The Cunha family know their closeness costs them dearly, but they place the blame on the country's slow vaccine rollout. If they lived in the US or the UK, those infected would have likely been vaccinated before the virus reached their doors. Brazil's cities have been forced to halt inoculations because of a lack of doses as delays plague shipments of active ingredients from China. The country's Senate is investigating accusations of negligence and mismanagement in the government's handling of the crisis. Last year, for example, approaches from Pfizer to sell its vaccine to Brazil were repeatedly unanswered. Brazil's health ministry declined to comment on the criticisms and said it's making every effort to increase vaccinations.